This is Debbie, and I'm back again to uh, just give you some ideas of how I um, have my machine set up. Certainly doesn't mean this is how you have to do yours. This is just um, just what I do. Um, up on top, you'll see I have the um, foot pedal. I know a lot of you got rid of yours. Uh, I prefer to keep mine here. I don't like messing with my machine. Um, if I don't have to. This, I do have Velcro to the top so that it, it will stay there and if, um, you know, there's occasionally when I can't get the needle to, to pop up, um, I can just reach up here rather than trying to reach all the way to the back to the knob. Um, so, that's where I leave mine. Um, it looks like it's kind of a big mess up here, and let me see if I, uh, I'm not sure how much is on the camera, so let me see how much I can explain without having to move the camera again. So, if you can see the big orange thing up on top, that is my extension plug. I'm sorry, I have to pick it up. So, my extension plug's up there. It holds like, uh, there's like five holes in it. Uh, so I can plug in up to that many things. One of the things that is plugged in is my coiled uh, cord, which goes all the way up to the top of my curtain rod. Now, it took me a long time to figure out how to stop the cord, I wasn't using this cord, any cord, from dropping down behind the carriage, because once it dropped down there, it would get hung up, and then the carriage, it would be jerky, and it was a pain in the butt. So once I figured out I had to get the cord up higher, that took care of that issue. And boy, am I so glad. Um, do you have to have a coiled one? No, you don't. Uh, once I found that one at uh, Ace Hardware, not sure if they even still sell them anymore. It's quite heavy duty, so uh, it is not a lightweight um, piece of uh, accessory. I'm going to move around here to the front. So sorry. Um, the next thing you're going to see is um, my light. Um, you know, everybody has their own version of the light that they like. Um, this one, once again, I bought this at Ace Hardware. Um, it was, uh, let me turn it on. Um, it was less than $10. has a little halogen light in it. It's a clamp. I just put it right on there. On the, and the handle assembly, I can adjust it to where I need. Um, so that I can see better when I'm quilting. Works wonderful. And it doesn't get quite as hot as some of those other halogen bulbs do. Uh, we're going to slide down here. Um, there's that gorgeous orange thing. Uh, what that is is tape. I've got painter's tape holding it on to the back of uh, the handle. Um, I tried doing the Velcro thing and uh, after a while it just moves all over the place because the cord is moving as you're going up and down the frame. So, painter's tape works fine, nice and inexpensive. You can see I've got all the cords plugged into it. Sometimes it just seems like cords are everywhere in our life, doesn't it? Um, I got to wrap up as tight as I could wrap them up. Um, and then I put the extension cord through um, this other cord so that it's basically holding it up. Otherwise, it still continues to drop down. So, if I need to, I can always pull it further so that it stays up higher. Um, but generally, it does okay the way that it is. Now, let me see if I can put this down for you. I know there's a couple of people who wanted to know how they were really supposed to thread this machine. I'm going to take this off now. Um, so, uh, if any of you saw the link I posted on our forum uh, to Superior Threads, uh, they had some wonderful videos in there that explain a lot about long arm quilting and threads and needles. Uh, I highly recommend all of them to you. Uh, they explained on there that this type of spool is a cross wound which means when it comes off to keep from getting loops as you're quilting, it has to go straight up. Now, they don't all have to go straight up, so if you're having any trouble with your thread, that might be an issue. All right, so I'm going across. I go under this handle assembly. I know some other people go over it. 
Once again, your choice. I am certainly not the uh, queen of the world. I'm moving this over. So sorry. I'm going to come across the front. Now I can put this back down. I'm going to come across the front. And then you're going to come up to that first uh, thread guide. I know there are people who say there should be something between here and there, that that's too long of an area. I have never had an issue with it. It doesn't bother me at all. If I guess you have a great need, then you go right ahead and do it. But I'm fine with mine, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, next, you're going to go into that take-up lever and make sure your foot is up so that you're getting between those tension discs. Then you're going to come down, come back up the other side to that famous black band. Once again, I don't have any issues with this. I don't know why so many people do, but um, I guess there's a reason somewhere for it. Um, sorry, i got to put my glasses on. I was trying to do this without them. I don't wear them all the time. So. I'm going to come up the other side, go right through that area in front of the black tape or whatever it is and come down go through there now I have to put the foot down and I actually have to raise this up and I can't see now I'm not sure if I can get it to thread because I'm at a bad angle but we all know how to thread a machine so goes through through the back Oops. And not through all that stuff. Um, I did change out the uh, the screw on mine. Uh, they come with a big old oh, huge screw. Let me see where it is. They come with this screw on it um, because I'm going to start doing roller work. Um, this hits on the roller, so I changed it out with one that's on my Euro Pro. Um, works fine. Now I know we talked about um, filing off the bottom so that the rollers wouldn't hit. This is the spot right here that you have to file off. Um, and you do have to leave that this whole assembly on there because you're going to have to file a little tiny bit off of that as well. I was really nervous about it, really didn't want to do it. took me about five minutes. Um, make sure you cover up that uh, the uh, holes going down into your bobbin. Um, put tape over it or something. I used the painter's tape again because I didn't want it to get all sticky. Um, but that's the spot that we've talked about and that's the big screw that we're talking about. So, that's what I do with mine. That's how it all works. And um, if you have any questions, comments, please just let me know. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Bye.